Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for tuning in today. I do want to welcome you if you are new here. My name is Eileen. Thanks for joining me. I would love you to stick around by subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell. I can't wait to show you how I made this tabletop waterfall. So let's get started. this DIY you need two pots or the barrel pots from Dollar Tree and you also need paint sticks you can use any sticks that you have on hand and here I am painting the paint stick with my ink by Waverly you can also cut first the sticks before painting it and then I just let it dry once it is dried I lay it out on the barrel and mark where will I cut it Then after cutting it, I just painted the side where we cut it to finish it up. And here is our water pump. I got it from Amazon. I will put the link on the description box below. I lay it out like this. And as you can see, the paint stick and the tube or the tube is in the middle of the paint stick and the wire is on the side. Also, I mark where will I put my paint stick. And the markings or marking it make it make it easier so that when you lift the paint stick you know where to put it back To secure it more, I cut two paint sticks and hot glue it on the sides, but the hot glue didn't really stick well, so I used E6000 and I let it dry for 20 minutes. And once it is dry, I grab the other pots and put it on top of the paint stick. I also mark where will I put the pots so that it's so easier to put it back later on. And then I remove the tube and trace it in the pot like this after tracing the tube i will be making a semicircle and to do that i grab my waverly chalk paint and i trace the bottom part to make the semicircle <laughs> I just use my scissors to cut this part but on the curvy part it's so hard to cut so I use my soldering iron and to cut it make sure to do it slowly and carefully so that it will give you a nice cut. Then I just use the sandpaper to smooth it out and it works and here i will be poking hole where we traced the tube earlier and i also make sure to fit the hole or the tube from time to time and if it happens that you poke a big hole you can buy silicone paste i just use the hot glue to seal it and i'm very careful not to poke a big hole so that <laughs> it will not leak Here I am putting back the tube on the pump and then I will put it also on the pot. And here is our paint stick. I will attach it using the E6000 and as you can see the tube it's not in the middle it's on the edge and here I am adding 
this detail I am using my ink Waverly and just painting the semicircle that we cut earlier then I will set this aside and let's go to the fun part <laughs> here we have this police handcuff from Dollar Tree and there's a lot of steps so I'll make sure to slow it down here I am cutting this part and I'll make sure to name all the cuts that we need to use so that it's easier to follow this part I'm just cutting it but we're not going to use it so we're not gonna name it let's throw that away <laughs> And here is the handcuff that we're gonna use. Here I'm just cleaning up the burns. And this is how it looks like. Here I will mark the cut number one. This is our cut number one. We will be using that later on, so don't throw it away. And then again, I will mark another one and this is our cut number two I am cutting this part we don't need it so let's throw it away and I will now connect the cut number one to our main handcuff with hot glue I apply generous amount of hot glue and just give it a second to dry before moving it Is how it looks now now we will cut an opening to attach our cut number two here I'm just connecting the pieces of the cut number two and then we will be attaching it to our main handcuff and to attach it I cut a small piece of skewer and hot glue it so that it's more secure and sturdy then tada here is our handle and it's very sturdy i also cut a small piece of dowel like 1.5 or 1.3 inches and then I attach it on the handcuff I also grab these at Dollar Tree it's the kid cup <laughs> we will be removing the handle I just use my soldering iron be careful not to poke the cup just remove the handle and at here on the bottom part the one that's yeah this part if you cut that there will be a hole and it's perfect for our water tube or the tube and here I am poking a hole on the lid to connect our handcuff or our, our dowel like this but I feel like it doesn't really look like a pitcher pump so I flip the lid and it looks more <laughs> cooler and I just attach it using hot glue on the cup and I will also attach the dowel or the handcuff on the lid with the hot glue and look at this guys it looks like a pitcher pump now <laughs> so what do you think I went to Home Depot and then I grabbed this PVC yeah I think it's a PVC and then <laughs> I grab a bunch because I don't know what to use and I ended up using this one half 
elbow or male elbow which is only 92 cents mm, and then I just cut it into half like this then after that I will be tracing it on the cup and poke a hole using my soldering iron Then when you poke a hole using the soldering iron, make sure not to go beyond the circle. Here I just poke a hole inside the circle and I just hot glue it and attach it to the cup. It really fits good that I did not put hot glue around it. But if you will do this, make sure to put hot glue or silicone paste around the PVC. And then I painted it using my Krylon matte black and it looks like this. To finish it up, I grabbed my spackling from Dollar Tree and we will put it on the handle. And I just put the spackling on the cracks or the nooks and crannies. <laughs> Is that the right word? It's my first time using that on my channel. Nooks and crannies. Crannies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like this. And then I let it dry for 30 minutes, then paint it. And once it is dried, we will be painting it using my ink by Waverly. And I also added baking soda. It says the ratio is one to one but i added a little baking soda and i made the paste like this it still work or you can just play around add more paint and this technique is very popular on tiktok and it's also on youtube i saw a lot of crafter using it and i also want to try the paint and sand i think that will look good too and here i'm just painting it with my brush and I also paint it in one direction like horizontal let the paint dry and then tada we have this steel pitcher pump it looks so cool it looks like a steel pitcher pump and then we will be attaching it to the tube I marked 0.5 inch and that's 0.5 will get in there get in the cup or the pitcher i really poke it and then i sealed it with my hot glue then we will be attaching everything now i will use e6000 and hot glue to attach the pots on the paint stick Then I will do the same thing on the picture. I attach it using E6000 and hot glue. Let it dry for one hour. Then I brought it out and filling it up with the water. Here is my first and second bucket of water. And then we will turn it on. And I will add one more bucket of water. So that it will not flip over and there's another option because when you will turn this on or turn this off the water will gonna spill because we only have two pots and we added three pots of water but there's another option and it's the best one you can add rocks in the pot like this and there you can add water for only two pots and there's no flipping or spilling which is great and then I also added this LED light that I got from Amazon I will put the link on the description box below then you're done with this DIY so what do you think of this project you can also add some greeneries I really love how it turned out and I hope you like it too please let me know on the comment below yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you do please give me a big thumbs up and let me know on the comment below what do you think of this project 
thank you guys bye bye see you on my next diy take care god bless you all